Well, Rochester police and firefighters investigating after multiple small fires in the city last night. This was the scene in the area of Jay and Child Street where the fires shut down several surrounding roadways. Burned piles of debris could be seen in the streets there. Some cars were charred as well. The fires were eventually extinguished overnight. Christian Garzon alive on J Street here at the noon hour where residents coming into work this morning say they are fed up. Christian, what do we know so far? Well, Mark, behind me are some of the remnants of those fires uh, last night that were all over this area. We're at DeSimone Auto, the owner, of course, none too pleased with this aftermath. Take a look behind me here. Jay's going to zoom in on some of this stuff. It's still unclear how these fires began. Now, this is not too far from where a deadly shooting took place on Friday when police killed a man during a traffic stop. It's unclear if there's any connection to that right now. Now, Tony DeSimone, the owner of this shop, has called this area, quote, Gotham city in reference to the Batman character to help illustrate what he has to go through every day here. He is frankly fed up. He's witnessed multiple people getting shot going about their daily business right in this area here. He told News 8 that every day he fears getting shot and killed just coming to work. And now all this here, cars totally destroyed, a real hit to his business. He has reached out to the city multiple times and he says nothing has been done to remedy these problems. Our photographer reported last night uh, there were crimes of no justice, no peace here. But Mike Johnson with Free Rochester BLM says whatever happened here last night, it was not them. He says people who would do such acts are hurting their cause. Johnson is calling for more peaceful demonstrations. Unfortunately, our leaders and some muckraking journalists in the city have huge blind spots, social blind spots, and their naivety concerning the impact of their actions is resulting in death and destruction. This is the most dangerous corner in the city of Rochester is right here. I've called the merits department twice, told them how dangerous it is over here, and it is dangerous here. They, 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 People gathered around a corner over here. Me, 10, 15, 20 people parked their cars all over the place. You hear gunshots ringing out in between the buildings. Nothing's ever done. Nothing. Zero. Now, just before midnight, these roads were reopened to traffic and they remained open. In Rochester, Christian Garzon, News 8. Mark, back to you. Still lots to be learned here, Christian. Thank you. As we said earlier, the cause of those fires still under investigation. No group has taken responsibility here at the noon hour.